Hey, I'm Jack with Recipal, and today we're gonna to be talking about the FDA's nutrition label rounding rules. Stick with me here, it's an important topic, and we're gonna break it down in an easy to understand way. Okay, the bad news first. There are a lot of rules here, different ones based on the type of nutrient, based on the range it falls into. It's a lot of stuff to keep track of. We're gonna break it all down. The good news, if you don't wanna to have to figure that out yourself, you can use recipal.com and all those rules will automatically be applied based on your recipe. So let's get into how the FDA wants you to round on your nutrition labels. Looking at nutrition labels in a grocery store or in your own kitchen, you probably notice that you don't see labels with 72 calories or 2.53% daily value of some nutrient. This isn't because the FDA doesn't want you to be precise, it's because they want to make it easy for the consumer to digest and understand what's going on. So that's why these rounding rules are in place. It simplifies it, makes it a little easier to understand. Now the rounding rules themselves aren't the simplest. There's different rules for different nutrients and different ranges that dictate how you should round them. So let's get into that a little bit. First, let's start with the major nutrients calories, fats, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, and proteins. Now, if it wasn't confusing enough already, each of these nutrients have different value ranges and each value range is rounded differently. We're gonna get into that. Let's start with calories here as an example. If a product had less than five calories, you'd round it down to zero calories. A product with between five and 50 calories would be rounded to the nearest five calorie, and a product of over 50 calories would be rounded to the nearest 10 calorie. So here's what that looks like in practice. A product with 43 calories would be rounded up to 45 calories. It falls in the range between five and 50, so we're rounding to the nearest five calorie. However, a product with 53 calories would be rounded down to 50 calories. It's greater than 50 calories, so we're rounding to the nearest 10 calorie, so that would go down to 50. Now, each major nutrient has its own ranges and different rounding rules. So as you can see, this could get kind of complicated. We've got a whole article that breaks this down that I'll link to in the description. So let's talk about what else gets rounded. The percentage daily values are rounded too, and they have different rules as well. All nutrients except vitamins and minerals are rounded to the nearest 1%. Vitamins and minerals are like major nutrients where they have ranges that dictate their rounding. Less than or equal to 10% RDI is rounded to the nearest 2% daily value. Between 10 and 50% RDI round to the nearest 5% daily value. Greater than 50% round to the nearest 10% daily value. But wait, there's still more. When the FDA updated their rules in 2016, they made a requirement to show the amount in milligrams or micrograms of the mandatory vitamins and minerals on the panel. And as you might have guessed, each of those vitamins and minerals has their own specific rounding rule. We'll take a look at that here, but again, it's linked in the article in the description. So as you see in this chart, calcium is rounded to the nearest 10 milligram while iron is rounded to the nearest 0.1 milligram. And vitamin D is rounded to the nearest 0.1 microgram. So there's a lot of things to keep track of here. It's also important to note that this rule applies to any optional vitamins and minerals that you include on your panel. Last but not least, the number of servings also gets rounded. So if it's less than two servings per container, it should be a single serve per container. If it's between two and five servings per container, you round to the nearest 0.5 serving. And if it's above five servings per container, you round to the nearest serving. So there's obviously a lot to keep track of with the FDA's rounding rules on nutrition labels, but you don't have to do that on your own. With recipal.com, you just plug in your recipe, the amounts, and it automatically applies all of the rounding rules according to the FDA guidelines. Check it out for free, recipal.com.